Will the Green Bay Packers once again run away with the NFC North? According to Bovada Sportsbook, it sure looks like it as they come in as a minus 300 favorite to win the North this season. Next closest team, the Lions coming in at 6-1. to one. We'll get to them in just a second. But if you take a look at also the season win totals, the Sportsbook sure believe that the Green Bay Packers are going to have once again have a great season and likely be one of the better bets to not only win the North, but win the entire NFC as they have a season win total of 11 right now. The next closest team in the North is the Detroit Lions coming in at 8 wins. But with still one of the best, if not the best quarterback in the entire NFL, a pretty solid defense and a really good set of skill players. This team is once again poised to run away with this division. Minus 300 is a lot of chalk, but it sure does look like a great bet to win the North here this season for the Green Bay Packers. The next team, of course, as I mentioned, the Detroit Lions coming in at 6-1 to one this season. Really uh, should be still a pretty good team despite losing in Dominican Sue. The defense still should be really good, but a lot relying on Matt Stafford right now who had a pretty solid season in regards to turning the ball over, only was intercepted 12 times last year, which was very good compared to seasons past. However, still fumbled the ball six times, only threw 22 touchdowns as well in 2014. That could be a big factor coming in this season, even though he does still have almost as good, if not a better set of skill players than the Green Bay Packers with Calvin Johnson, Golden, St Golden Tate, and Eric Ebron. But the running game is still a little bit of a question mark for me as well. Of course, they drafted Abdullah in the second round to go along with Joyt Bell to kind of have a dual threat running attack here. But is it going to be enough in the NFC North? I'm not sure. I'm not ready to back the Lions here at 6-1 to one over a team like the Packers. But also at 6-1 to one here is the uh, Minnesota Vikings, with Teddy Bridgewater, of course, still uh, maturing and becoming a better quarterback. He looked very good towards the end of the season last year. He should have Adrian Peterson back this year, which is going to help a lot. But the one big question mark for this team is likely the offensive skill players. Even though they brought in Mike Wallace, Kyle Rudolph still should be back in health. They still have some question marks on the outside of this uh, of this uh, roster here. The depth at receiver should be a big problem for them this season. At 6-1, to one, not ready to label them overvalued, but I'm definitely not ready to take them to win this division over a team like the Green Bay Packers. Although, they could definitely finish above 500 this season with a uh, season win total of 7.5. Could have a very good opportunity to make the playoffs if they can indeed improve uh, upon their divisional record as well as uh, their road records, which were both absolutely horrendous last season. And finally, for the NFC North, the Chicago Bears come in at 12-1. to Of course, new coach uh, John Fox coming in. Make or break year for Jay Cutler as he threw 28 touchdowns in 2014, but he also turned the ball over 27 times. If he does that again, he's gone from Chicago, and this team's probably going to have to blow things up and rebuild. They've already traded Brandon Marshall and have a very, very young receiving core this year in rookie Kevin White and, of course, Alshon Jeffrey, who had a breakout 2014 campaign. Lack of depth also in the running game behind Matt Forte is very questionable, and this defense, after a lot of turnover, also has some question marks coming into the season of why they are way, way down at 12-1. to Maybe slightly undervalued, but definitely not that much better than 10-1 to to win this division here from Bovada. But that'll do it for the NFC North. Make sure you check out some of my other divisional previews. But until the next time, for SBR Forum Videos, I'm Jordan Sharp.